What's up, guys? So, we got a problem. <clears throat> Let me raise y'all up a little bit. Even though I replaced the seals, we're still getting wet. So, I found out what the issue is, but we have another issue. We gotta clean this crap out, man, in order to fix our next issue. All right, so let's do the YouTube thing. There you go. We're cleaned out. So let me show y'all this piece of work. Okay? I'm gonna shrink y'all down. And this is unbelievable to me how this happened. But. In order to get to this, this here is our problem. In order to get to that, you gotta take this side uh, vent out. The back seat's gotta come out. Not side vent, but the side cover. And if you can see, as I bring y'all down, Our thing is supposed to have vent, I mean covers for the vents. These vents are supposed to be covered right there. Only one that has a cover is this one, and this one is falling out as well right now. So, in order to pop this out, you need to push this down. Push it forward, and it falls right down. Look at that. I'm supposed to have this kind of crap cover knees. Now, this thing went in like this. So, let me grab the, the uh, new one and I'll show y'all what's going on with this old one here, why it failed. So, here we have the old one. These pieces, right? see this right here? You see it better that way? You see those cracks in it? Those cracks let water come into, into, um, into here all right so once it came into here it started rolling straight down here and down through here into here that's why this this crap here is like this that plate so I need to do some cleaning up right quick here and what's amazing about it is that I find this crap out once I done paid $700 for some new rubbers, not rubbers, but door seals and stuff like that, which they are rubber. And um, after I've been searching forever on YouTube, what could be leaks, never knew anything about these. What I, what I, what I got was, it could be the, uh, the core vent. It could be the emergency cable the leak in the front it could be for the extended cap these seals up here on the top where there's a hole right here for um for a pin to go into to hold the rubber there it could be that and it could be my rear window and it could be my third brake light so i did the third brake light it didn't stop um i did uh i did these seals and it didn't stop this crap here, 22 bucks. This crap here, 700 bucks. Not just this, I bought two of these and the ones for, for this uh, door. I feel like I still need to replace the one on top here because it's kind of worn out a little bit, but yeah. This here is definite, I couldn't. you can't even see this. And it's not hard to put in, it'll snap right in, but we're gonna have to do some things though first. So, let me, oh my, I'm sorry. Here's the new one. See the new one? See all those things in there for the new one? 
see all these things not in here on the old one yeah we're gonna fix that today so these things here are supposed to let the air out when you close go to close your doors it hit this and blows the let the air come out of the cab if you didn't have these you wouldn't be to close your cab door so with all that being said man to the ground and uh i'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this uh right quick and the longest part about this thing here man is taking the interior out all right guys so as you can see that piece right there is going to sit down in there like that and then we'll tip it up but the problem is we have to go from i have to do this from underneath and i'm gonna position you guys so y'all can see how i do it so i'm hoping you guys can see it <clears throat> We got it in there. I don't know how, how good y'all can see that or not, but I think I'm gonna try to do the next one from the inside, but I'm gonna have to do it two ways. So, I mean, at two different stages. I'll try to sit it in here, then put it, uh, then try to pull it and pop it in. I kind of broke this right here, but I don't think that's gonna matter. I really don't. Well guys, I went through the whole process and I didn't even know my camera was on photo. So, I'm going to do this again, man. We're going to do it again. Man, if y'all don't get this this time, man, I'm sorry. I am damn sorry. And I'm not saying I am sorry, but I'm saying I'm sorry that y'all not gonna get it. All right, and pull this mug, and that's it, man. That's all we needed. It's just that easy, man. Then, you just work it from uh, backwards. That's it. Work everything backwards. So, the only thing only thing left to do is to put uh, this interior back together. I mean, all the way back to kept carpet and everything. So, because we've been out too long. All right, so let's do it. We're gonna do this YouTube thing. Well, guys, I finally finished putting this tear in. But I done loaded my stuff back up in there, you know, for y'all to get a look at it. But hey. We are back to business, man. Looking good. Shouldn't get no water in here no more. So, if you got issues, man, and you got a cab, Silverado's and the GMC Sierra's and all those sh sh like that, they have those vents in the back to uh, make it easy to close these doors when you close them. Because um, it's a pressure reliever. So, and it's a leaker too, if you know, if it's, if they uh, leak in so check those first man just look between the cab and you check them and you'll see if it at the top of the seal if it's broke water's getting in right there especially if it's running down through here and the back here getting wet it's running down through here look at those first man that's all together man you under 50 bucks for them so that's better than doing these damn seals and all that the only problem is you gotta take the back seats out man so 
you know, long as long as you long as you up for that, you're good. So um, that's gonna bring this video to an end. So like, comment, and subscribe, man. We're gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.